Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and the first tutorial in my under the sea themed toppers. And in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute fondant starfish. And all you need for this is some fondant or sugar paste and a star cutter. I use this one because it's got nice round edges but you can use any star cutter that you've got. Okay then, let's begin. So I'm rolling out my red sugar paste to about five millimeters thick. I want it quite thick and I'll show you why now. I'm just gonna put some clear cling film over the top and then press my cutter down. Now this will give a nice little curved edge around your starfish. And that's why you also want it to be quite thick so you get that nice curve. And then if you haven't got a clean cut through the cling film, you can just remove the cling film and then use the cutter again to get that nice clean cut at the bottom, but you'll still get that nice curved edge at the top. So I'm just gonna clean any edges there. And hopefully you can see the nice curved edge we have at the top there for our starfish. Okay, so now I'm just going to make some eyes and I'm just going to use a small end of a ball tool just to pop some eyes in there. I like to do it slowly just in case I make a mistake. And then once I'm happy where they go, I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay, and now I've got the curved end of a veining tool just to make a little mouth there. And now I'm using my ball tool again just to create some little imprints in the pointed parts of the star. So the first one's going to be pressing a little bit harder and the second one a little bit lighter. So I'm getting two different sizes. And now I'm going to fill those holes with some small balls of the red sugar paste. I've got slightly bigger balls for the bigger holes and smaller ones for the smaller holes. So I've just had a little bit of clear alcohol and you can add a little bit of edible glue if you prefer. And I'm just going to pop those balls into little holes we've made and then I will secure them with a ball tool. So if you do like this tutorial please do give it a thumbs up and I will also put a link to everything that I use in this tutorial in the description. As I said I'm using a really good quality sugar paste that's really really firm but if you have trouble you could also use a modelling paste. So here I go I'm just going to secure all them with the ball tool just makes them a little bit flat. And now I'm using the ball tool just to make some little imprints for the cheeks there. Some little ovals. And I'm just going to pop some tiny bits of pink sugar paste in there. I've just mixed some of the red with some white just to get that little pink. Just going to secure that again with the ball tool. And I'm just shaping that further with my blade tool. So now I've got two balls of black modelling paste for the eyes and I'm just going to pop them into the sockets we've already made. Secure them with my ball tool. And now I'm just rolling a little bit of black modelling paste to put into the mouth that we made earlier. So again, a little bit of clear alcohol. Just going to use my brush to pick that up. Pop it into position. And then use a dry brush to help shape that into position there. Okay, so I'm just adding some small balls of white modelling paste to the eyes for some little highlights. I've got two bigger balls there. I'm going to use the brush to pick them up because they're so small. There we go. And then I'm just going to secure that again with my ball tool. So lastly, I'm just making some little eyelashes. This can be quite fiddly. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I just roll out the black modelling paste on my hand and you can see I get those little tapered bits at the end and they're the bits that I want. So once I've got them, I'm just going to cut them away. Very, very small. And then I'm just going to do the other one. Once I've finished this starfish, I will just quickly show you how to create the other starfish with the open mouth expression. Okay, so now I'm just adding a little bit of clear alcohol to about 11 o'clock and then I'm just going to use my brush to pick up these tiny pieces of black modelling paste and place them into position there. And then I'm just going to do the same with the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create the other facial expression. And for this, I'm using the wide end of a Dresden tool. 
I'm just going to press in there to create the mouth just on the angle kind of a little open mouth and then you can shape the mouth a little bit as well with the Dresden tool I'm just popping a little bit of black modeling paste in there I've got a tiny bit because you can put too much in it's going to help put that into position with the brush press down with the Dresden tool again and then I felt mine needed a little bit more black so I did a tiny bit more black Positioned it with my brush and then shaped it with my dressing tool. Okay, so now I'm just making a little tongue by having a bit of that pink paste from earlier that I used for the cheeks. Rolled it into a small ball, flattened it, and then stuck that into position there in the mouth. And used my brush to shape. And lastly, I'm just adding some eyebrows. I've got some tiny sausage shape pieces of the black modeling paste, which I'm just sticking into position. And then once they've stuck down, you can use your brush just to make any facial expression that you like. Okay, so that's both your fondant starfish made. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.